I got a real good question for you. A, re a real good question for you people who is in love out here in these streets. Would y'all um, let go your significant other if they refuse to share their locations, like on their phones and stuff like that? Really, would you give up a good relationship if they refuse to let you know where they at at all times by sharing their location? Well, we have a beautiful baby who who's about to speak on it. Who says that um the relationship is over? The relationship is over, bitch. If I can't, uh, if you cannot share your location with me, let's see what this baby got to say. Here we go. If we married and my husband refuses to share his location with me, yes, I have heard of this scenario before. Oh, oh, my bad. I didn't know she said if she's married. We get a divorce. Matter of fact, we would have spoken about this already during our dating stage. And if I find out you don't believe in sharing your location with your wife, we ain't gonna make it no further anyway. Cause I know what it means. There's only one reason a person don't want to share their location with you that you're romantically involved with, supposed to be in a relationship with, and that's because they don't want you to know where they're at. There's only one reason a person don't want you to know where they're at because they know you would like where they're at, right? That's simple. Okay. So, no, that's what cheating looks like. Cheating don't look like you walking in on a man in bed with a woman. We don't all get the benefit of, 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 of seeing it for a fact like that. And yes, I call it a benefit. If you get cheated on, you may as well know you get cheated on. So, yeah, it's a benefit for it to be given to you in such a sure package we don't get that benefit you got to look at the signs you got to stop ignoring your gut you got to use your intuition you got to use your mind and your common sense that's what cheating looks like cheating looks like you know he hides his phone he always falling asleep over his boy house drunk and nobody had a charger as far as i know even two cell phone chargers in the world somebody had that lightning or that usb-c or whatever it is for androids somebody somewhere had one you could have drove to the gas station and got one like no, that's what cheating was like. Oh, he dropped his phone in the toilet. Oh, he had a tire blow out on the highway. How many times you let your man have his tire blow out on the highway? That's what cheating was like. Wake up, pay attention. If we wake up, pay attention, bitch. You better listen on up. Now listen, listen, listen. I can agree with a lot. I can agree with a lot of of what she said around here in this street. We're gonna run it back just a little bit, but and then, and then, and then, it's probably like one or two point um pause where I'm like, nah. I'm My gonna... husband refuses to share his location with me. Yes. Okay, now I can understand like you was now in holy matrimony and or you was in a long term relationship or something like that, and your significant other they don't want to share. I kind of get it. Why the fuck you don't want to share? You know, but maybe people just don't like to be watched all the dog on time. Maybe it's not because they're cheating. Maybe they just, maybe they still feel like, bitch, I'm grown. You don't need to know everywhere that I go. You know, I don't, mm, mm. maybe some people, they may feel like that right there. It, do, it does not mean that a person is cheating because they won't give you their location. Is it a, is it, is it, is it a possibility? Yes. And a lot of people really don't understand this right here. Whether you have their location or not, there's workarounds. There's way around everything. You can cheat and still have your location turned on. Yeah. So I have heard of this scenario before. We get a divorce. Matter of fact, we would have spoken about this already during our dating stage. And if I find out you don't believe in sharing your location with your wife, we ain't gonna make it no further anyway. Cause I well, that's good. That's good if you speak about it early and if you say, listen, you have to, we have to share our locations. And if a person like, hell no, nah, baby, I don't, I don't, I don't need people like all in my business, even if you is my significant other, then we're not going to make it. See, now, if you state that there up front and the person like, all right, cool. Then I give you the opportunity to move on to somebody who is willing to share your location. But a lot of that sharing the location has a lot to do with insecurities. And it has a lot to do with, it can call um, you sending stalker vibes or something like that right there. You know what I'm saying? It's, and hell, I don't even like to have my notification on because I don't want Google following me. I don't like the internet following me. Um, I don't like my phone to know everywhere I'm at, which is still strange to even have that thought right there because your phone does track everywhere you go whether you have the location on or not. You see how is it, damn it, you see how the system actually do us? They give us the option to turn the location on and or off. So now we believe that if we have the location off, the phone don't know where, where we at. The strange part about it is if you cut on, if you press your map and you put in the address and you're trying to find somewhere, 
Your map show you exactly where you at with your location off. That's what's up. But keep on going, baby. I don't know what it means. There's only one reason a person don't want to share their location with you that you're romantically involved with, supposed to be in a relationship with, and that's because they don't want you to know where they're at. There's only yeah, yeah, damn it, you about right. You about right. A person, because a person still, a, a lot of people, they still wants to have that sense of, bitch, I'm still grown. I don't want you in all my damn bit. You don't need to know that I went to Starbucks today. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? You don't need to know that I stopped at the gas station. Like, I'm still an adult. One reason a person don't want you to know where they're at, because they know you wouldn't like where they're at. That's not necessarily true, but it's a high probability that it is true. I'm not saying that you're wrong. I'm just saying that it's not necessarily true 100%. It's a, it's a lot true, just, just not the whole 100. Right? That's simple. Okay. So, no, that's what cheating looks like. Cheating don't look like you walking in on a man in bed with a woman. We don't all get the benefit of... of, of of seeing it for a fact like that. And yes, I call it a benefit. If you get cheated on, you may as well know you get cheated on. So yeah, it's a benefit for... Do y'all understand when y'all tell or when y'all want somebody to share their their location is people find workarounds. Like um, they will get picked up from wherever they are at and just leave their phone wherever their vehicles is at. A lot of people cheat on the job. So... What do you do about that? You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of cheating goes on on the damn job. We just did, damn it, I just did a story about a um, correction officer who was hunting the inmates. You know, to be given to you in such a sure package. We don't get that benefit. It's not a sure package, baby. It's not. You gotta look at the signs. You gotta stop ignoring your gut. You gotta use your intuition. You gotta use your mind and your common sense. That's what cheating looks like. Cheating looks like, you know, he hide his phone. He always falling asleep over his boy. Yeah, those are some of the obvious things to where it could be like a red flag thing. His phone is always dying. He falling asleep over his partner house. First of all, if you got a man, he always falling asleep over his homeboy house. You might want to let him go anyway. <laughs> he like falling asleep at his homeboy house more than um, falling asleep at, at your house and or y'all's house. I was drunk and nobody had a charger. As far as I know, even two cell phone chargers in the world. Somebody had that lightning. Somebody got a goddamn charge. Somebody got that. Listen, you can only use that excuse like once, maybe twice. Yeah. That USB-C, whatever it is for yeah, Android. Yeah, yeah. Somebody somewhere had one. You could have drove to the gas station and got one. Fact. Like, Facts. no, gonna... that's what cheating was like. Oh, he dropped his phone in the toilet. He oh. dropped his phone in the toilet. Now, listen, listen, listen. That can only happen like one time. Maybe two depends on where he was at and which toilet he dropped it in. It can happen to the once, maybe two. I'm, I'm a, damn it, if he dropped it twice at the crib inside the toilet, all right, now that's understandable. Damn it, you done messed up, but it has to be within the, like a long period of time because after the first time you drop it, you tend, your mind tends to be more cautious when you is around the toilet. And maybe by a year in or a year after the incident, you will start to be less cautious and then it may happen again. Go ahead. Oh, he had a tire blow out on the highway. How many times you let your man have his tire blow out on the highway? That's what cheating looks like. Wake up, pay attention. That's a good question right there, baby. That's a real good question right there. Listen, ladies, you should only if we married you should only give a player I had a blowout. One time. Why the hell you having these goddamn blowouts multiple times then? But because you had a blowout, it still don't mean that you can't talk to your little lala. And you should be able to show, or he should be able to show, or she should be able to show she had a blowout. You know? But I want you all to really, really think about this. People cheat really, really good because of they don't raise suspicion. The obvious cheating, all right, cool. It's easy to um, catch and stuff like that. Them people are stupid. They don't respect you like that because you find out that they was cheating. See, cheating ain't the problem. The disrespect comes in when the significant other find out that you were cheating. That means that you did not respect them enough to not get caught, you know. 
but the majority of people cheating, the majority of people cheating, they never gave a red flag. They continue to do their everyday thing as they can um, do it. They don't change up. No, 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 no. And any little changes, they tend to inform you about the little changes. Hmm? You go to work, may go to the grocery store, may go to mama them house every now and then, um, go to work, you come home and stuff like that. You think nothing of it. While he be smashing on the job. He's smashing on the lunch break. He's smashing in the broom closet on the doggone job. He go to the grocery store. He's smashing in. He is smashing in like the back area. He's smashing in the bathroom. You would have never thought he was smashing something else. A female, the same shit. I'm going to my gynecologist today. She sma here, she's smashing the gynecologist. You know what I'm saying? So... It be the ones who don't show you the signs. Those are the ones who is really cheating. Y'all tell me what y'all think now in the comment section. If you just like this video, give a player a thumbs up, a thumbs up, and a share. Do something like that right there. Follow, follow, follow. Let a player know what you think down in the comment section. And y'all stop following people. I'm out.